What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time here, my name is Camille and today I'm going to be taste testing a very special product which is the Jenny's Ice Cream Everything Bagel Flavored Ice Cream. Now if you know me in real life, you know that there is not one single product on this earth that is more up my alley than an Everything Bagel Flavored Ice Cream. I absolutely live for the bagel and also for ice cream so this is really just a dream come true for me um, as you can see the box is already opened and that's because I tried to open this yesterday when I first received the package um, however unfortunately the dry ice was really really functioning at peak condition because the ice cream was so firm that I couldn't get any of it out um, so I'm gonna be showing you what I got in the box when I first unopened or when I first opened it not unopened it Okay, so we've got a little like card, which is cute um, Jenny's ice cream is from the Midwest of uh, America, so like the Midwestern states. She is based in Columbus, Ohio And she has lots of different like ice cream parlors around the south from what I can tell online This is my first time ordering from her and she already gave me a gift, and I just absolutely love surprises. So this is a yard sign, like it's basically, you can see this little thing over here, the stakes. Um, yeah, I don't even think I'll use it, but it's so, so cute. And she also gave me stickers, which I actually probably will use. So that was a fun little surprise. And then as far as the ice cream goes, it comes in a styrofoam case like this. And on the inside, when you take the lid off, normally it has the dry ice, which is like so, so cold. Um, here's the precious our very first item so this is the obviously everything bagel ice cream it's cream cheese flavored ice cream with an everything bagel gravel and on her Instagram it says that the gravel is like a streusel so I'm thinking that they're gonna be like firm and then you like bite into them to get all the flavors um, but how cute is that packaging like I'm sorry what Jenny you have outdone yourself so when you make an order you have to do a minimum of four cartons so as well as our special treat I also got this flavor which is the cold brew with coconut cream this is a vegan variety I thought I might as well try it um, I do love cold brew and coffee so add coconut cream in there and I'm just literally in heaven and then we've got this little naughty thing which is the sweet cream biscuits and peach jam inside of buttermilk ice cream like I, I really have a hard time believing that that can go wrong anywhere so yes those are my selections I also got obviously you have to have four to order so I got one extra of the everything bagel because I'm thinking I'm gonna like it but I don't know but I just really wanted to have two just in case I'm obsessed and then I can't get any more because I'm pretty sure it's limited edition okay so let's get into it I'm gonna put the other ones on the ground I came prepared. I have a little teeny tiny bowl and a scooper, which I've put into warm water because I had a short stint as a gelato shop worker in Melbourne. Um, and that is what they do to scoop evenly. So this is what it looks like. You can't really see it. Like you can see where I was trying to stab into it last night and it didn't work and in fact I was trying so hard to get to the ice cream that I like this little part right here I stabbed into it and it shot over my shoulder it's on the comforter it was just a mess um, but not today I've learned from my mistakes okay so I'm gonna scoop it now just get a nice hearty scoop here That just dripped on my skirt. That's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Can you see it? It looks 
Like it looks just kind of like vanilla and cookie chunk y. So nothing really super unusual as of yet. It smells like <laughs> like cream cheese, like a exactly like cream cheese. Okay, let's taste it. Very squishy. Okay. Oh. Oh, Lord. Okay. It is, okay, first of all, exactly like cream cheese on, like, the body of it, like the ice cream part. And then you get these little clusters. I don't know if you can see that. Um, you get these clusters, which kind of unassumingly bite into, and that is where the garlic onion, poppy seed, sesame seed, and salt are. They are lurking in the shadows just waiting for you to get comfortable and then they just beat you over the head and shoulders and I can't say that I hated it. Um, I think it's a little bit weird just because I'm obviously not used to like biting into the toppings or kind of just like fluttered about in a normal bagel but I did like it. I mean, I think, I think Jenny nailed it with the term gravel because that is exactly what you're getting here. Um, I actually made some bagels just for this video. I made like little mini everything bagels um, and then I dehydrated it in the oven so that I could dip it into my ice cream because why wouldn't I? So here we have our ice cream, here we have our little bagel, dehydrated so it's going to be crunchy. I didn't over bake them. Nobody panic. Let's scoop that shit right up on here. Ooh, that looks nice. Firm. Very firm, very crunchy, <laughs> which to me is not a bad thing. So I liked it. But I kind of like is like in the ice cream flavor, you get like a little hint of salt, but it's not like it's not very vibrant, not quite as vibrant as I think I would like it. Um, so adding just like that little extra bit of everything bagel flavoring. This is what I use. This is the Trader Joe's one. This is actually a little bit too salty. So I think when the two meet together, they really knock it out of the park. If you ever visit the United States and you've never been to a Trader Joe's, you have to buy this product. It is unbelievable. It has everything mixed in there for you and then you just shake it out. Uh, I don't know if you can see, but mine's like literally almost gone just because I love it um, okay so this was good it is I mean it tastes like what it says it's gonna taste like uh, the cream cheese ice cream is unreal like I would definitely eat that again but I also could just like eat normal cream cheese by the pound so that really is not surprising it's so cute I love it um, I would definitely buy it again or like give it away as a gift because it's so, so unique. But I do think it's limited edition, so I'm not really sure. Um, next up, we're gonna do a little bit of bonus testing. So we're gonna do the sweet cream biscuits and peach jam. Let me get my next little cup out. Rinse my scooper. I've got like everything bagel seasoning all up in my teeth. Mm. If it's in my front teeth, then sorry about it, but <laughs> there's no stopping me now. Okay, here's a nice hearty scoop of the peach one. And this is, what was it, buttermilk? 
buttermilk ice cream. I love buttermilk, buttermilk biscuits, buttermilk pancakes, anything buttermilk, I'm on board. You can't smell the peach, but let's see if we can taste it. Mmm. It's nice. It is nice. And the peach is very natural. Like you can tell that they locally source it. It's not anything like artificial or funky. I'm not sure if like the ice cream part feels very buttermilky. Like I would expect it to be like a little bit tangier, but I guess, I don't know. It's good. It's nice. It is nice. Um, but I don't know if it's giving me the buttermilk that I was expecting. However, I will take another bite just in case I've misjudged. Mm-hmm. Cold. I'll obviously eat the whole thing, but just not quite as tangy as I was suspecting it would be. Okay, our last final flavor. Let me hop down here and get it. Is the vegan one. So this is the Jenny's Cold Brew with Coconut Cream. Um, I love coconut. I love cold brew. Light and bright slingshot coffee. I believe that's local to her location. Um, cold brew sorbet twisted with lush coconut cream, non-dairy frozen yogurt, vegan, gluten-free, and dairy-free. Let's party, y'all. Okay, here's my scooper. I actually ran out of um, my clear cup, so I have to use this one. Oh, I just got that all over my hand. The show must go on. Here it is. So cute. Very, very nice color contrast there. Let's try to get a little, oh, it's on my hand again. This is just, oh, it's just getting everywhere. This is definitely like icier than the dairy ones, which is to be expected, I guess. Here we go. Mmm. It's pungent. Pungent would be the word I would just use to describe it. Um, it's absolutely a cold brew. Like if you cruise into this thinking you're getting at a nice like milky latte, you're mistaken, hun. This thing has got some punch to it, but I actually love it. Like I feel like on a summer afternoon, I would definitely be like, you know what I need? A little scoop of the strong stuff. Mm-hmm. Ooh. It is nice. Very, very nice. Let's see. Oh my god, the whole container is only 580 calories. Um I could do that in my sleep. Is that a joke? How much is this one? Do I even want to know? Probably. Okay, so the peach one's 880 calories for the whole container, um, which I wouldn't eat the whole one in one sitting. I would, I'd, I'd get pretty close to housing this bad boy in one sitting. I can't lie about that. Um, let's see what the bagel one's up to calorie-wise. Just put my own self in that ice cream. Um, 950. But who's eating the whole container? Literally. I mean, maybe me, but almost no one. So, overall, I would say that Jenny's, um, she's fantastic. I'm blocking my own light here. 
Uh, you have to order for, as I mentioned earlier, my other flavor is another one of the Everything Bagel. Kind of almost wish that I'd gotten a fourth different flavor, just because I really like what she's done with these ones. But, say la vie, maybe I'll make another little snack with my extra Everything Bagel flavor. Thank you so much for tuning in. Um, I am kind of new to all of this, that's why there's literally no editing, dicey lighting, and kind of just like off the cuff. But if you do enjoy the video, please give me a follow. And if you want to find me on Instagram, it's at Cam. So I will be lurking around the stores, posting photos of snacks and things that I buy, as well as doing cooking videos, which I'm hoping to get into once I get the whole editing process down. So yes. Thank you so much for coming by and I will see you again with our next snack. Bye bye.